Hey everyone. Oh my goodness. So it is chilly out y'all. It is 50 degrees out and this is winter jacket weather here. <laughs> so for those of you, in case you don't know, we're in Florida and we do not see what's the matter. Oh, mom life always bumps them <laughs> and bruises. Harper got bumped in. Um, she just needed a little hug. So I'm out here checking on the garden. We still have tomatoes growing. Um, I planted chamomile seeds and they haven't sprouted yet. So I'm hoping that those sprout soon. So I just wanted to check on those. But so in other news, we have a very, very, oh, how many times can I say exciting day today? And we're going to take y'all along and share the news with you. Here are those snow peas that Logan planted. Those are doing good. I need to put up some twine or something for those to grow on. And then hopefully these will ripen soon. Y'all see those tomatoes there? It'll be nice to have some fresh tomatoes. We ate the mustard greens. I think I see chamomile sprout. Oh goodness, I hope so. So there's a little sprout there. And there's one there. Does that look like chamomile? That, that's what I put in all of these. And look, those have like collected all right there. So hopefully that's what it is. I am so excited. I can barely contain myself. <laughs> this is better than a kid on Christmas morning. I don't know. I don't know, but I am so excited. And in true Jessica fashion, I'm also very, very nervous, but more excited than nervous. Um, and I can't wait to share it with you guys, y'all. It's amazing. All right. I want to do something. <laughs> what, do you want to say what we're doing? I don't know. I'm nervous. <laughs> and you're not. You're cool. You're not nervous at all. Seriously. All right. We got to take a little trip. All right. So what's our news? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> it would be believable. It, it would be, but we're not pregnant. <laughs> closed on a house. Yes, we closed on a house today. On our land. Yes. So we are ordering a new manufactured home. So we closed on the loan portion um, and it will be built and delivered. I can give you all more details later, but we did the first big step. The rest is on the house place. <laughs> Hands are tired. Yes, yep, we signed a lot of documents. So we're just looking in a couple houses because our model is not here. Um, Cause it's a different model that they don't have on the lot. We're, we're gambling, we're, we like the floor plan. We're just gonna do it. We get it. Yep. So excited. Excited. We got so much to do. I'm ready to be your workhorse. And I'm so excited for that. <laughs> I've got lots of plans. <laughs> I don't know. We'll find out. So looking at this one, what? And this is similar to our floor plan, I think. I don't know. We'll have to see the rest of it. So ours is a, huh? this is actually similar to the other one that we looked at. Yeah. Cause the closet's not in here. It's in there. Okay. Never mind. This isn't like a floor plan. <laughs> Some of it's similar, um, but ours actually has, it does have a second living room, but we're going to turn that into a bedroom because 11 kids. It's and a 5-2. Yes. This isn't a 5-2, it's a 4-2. This is actually. It says 4. 1, 2, 3, There's four. only one bedroom. 1, 2, 3, 4, Oh, you're right. Five. You're right. Okay. Say it again. People need to hear it. Oh, so this is a Jack and Jill? Okay, so this is similar to ours. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Okay, we don't know what we're talking about. Some things are like, some things are, oh, look at that pantry. Did you see the pantry bed? Yep. That's nice. I like the door. Do you like the door? You gonna build me one? Yeah. You're a good man.
<laughs> oh my goodness, y'all. I am so excited. So we are back home. We have signed all the documents across the I's and dotted the T's and have done all the things. Um, so it was fun just walking into a model of a house that was kind of similar to what we're doing. Um, not exactly, but that's okay. So it has obviously been a very long journey for us. Um, and it has taken longer than what we had hoped or expected it to. But y'all, like it, this alone, this house, kind of, I've been working on so, since September. It has been, oh, it has just been a lot. Um, we actually had something lined up in June and for a couple different reasons, it didn't end up working out. And it honestly was very heartbreaking. Like it just, there's been several times that we have thought that we had a house like that used one that we tried to purchase and the guy ended up selling it to somebody else, even though he kind of promised it to us. And then this thing in June, like it's, that was very hard. Like both of those instances, even though I believe that happened for a reason and just trusting, you know, the path that the Lord has laid before us doesn't mean that it was easy. <laughs> oh, but we have made it almost <laughs> because we still have a little bit of a process. Um, so the thing that happened in June and then it didn't work out um, was really, it was just heartbreaking. Um, so Nathan and I kind of were like, let's just focus on, you know, our family and just kind of where we should go from here. Anyway, so we started this process in September, like I said, and it has literally just taken a long time, all the paperwork and I don't know. So the house that we had wanted to do was the one that I showed in a previous video of the big laundry room. And it, while it worked very well, and I did like it, like I loved that laundry room. Between that and the home place was like, well, we have this smaller house that we could do without a problem. But it also was like, it was considerably smaller. But we were like, we're just gonna go ahead and do it. We'll deal with it. Well, the guy, the home place was like, well, actually we have a new model and that's the one that we're doing. It hasn't been built yet. So there isn't a model to see, which is a deterrent. Like if you can't walk the floor plan and kind of see it, um, that can be just a deterrent from wanting to do something. Not knowing firsthand, but we have seen so many of these houses. I feel like we got it under control. It'll be perfectly fine. So it was exciting because we didn't know that this floor plan existed. And the guy offered it to us and was like, y'all will be able to do this one. And I was like, okay, let's do it. It's five bedroom, three bath. Um, it is still just a bare basic model. I was hoping some of the basic models that you can purchase, you can at least put vinyl flooring in the home. Um, and I found out that we can't do that. It's gonna come with carpet and the living areas and bedrooms. And then, you know, the wet areas will have flooring, but I wanted flooring throughout. But I mean, that's something that we can change. It's not a big deal. Um, and so just over time, we're gonna, you know, update things. We kind of joke that we're buying a brand new fixer upper, <laughs> but at least, you know, it'll be brand new as far as like the main structure of the house versus getting a used one, like you're kind of concerned about, you know, something. So. We did it. We're, we're there. Um, so excited. Um, just the fact that this floor plan like just kind of became available. Um, he said, you know, it was brand new as far as the actual model itself. So, um, yeah, so we're doing it. It's a little nerve wracking just because it is like sight unseen, but you know, it's really, it'll be fine. I've got, I've been staring at this floor plan, um, for a bit and I have figured out exactly what we want to do. So it has a second living room. It's towards the back of the house, but we're going to turn that into the big girl's room. And then we're going to kind of restructure some things in the bedrooms just to make it work better for our family. Just having a large family, you know, like having adequate space for the kids. And the fact that it has three bathrooms is huge. So we are so excited for that. Now the process really starts rolling because we closed on the loan. And so they will order the house. We were hoping that we were gonna close before November 16th um, because that's when the next order was going in for the houses. We obviously did not make that deadline. So I don't have a date yet of when that model will be available. He's supposed to get back with me. Um, so roughly he's saying about four months is how long it will take. So 
I mean, at this point we're moving forward. So I'm, you know, like we feel pretty good about it. Um, so we have already set up to have the property bush hogged in two weeks. And then, you know, like the home place is handling everything. Well, septic, power, all of that. And you actually don't do those things. My understanding is until after the house is there. So like I've gotten comments over this and even, you know, just from people um, saying, well, you should go ahead and put, you know, well and septic in. And well, it doesn't really work that way. My understanding, the home place likes to have the house there and then they put in the well and septic. I'm not, I'm not in charge with this. So <laughs> I'm just begging for it all. Anyway, so so excited um so come spring you know we should be in there and we can you know we'll just change things over time as we can and we are just so excited the kids are thrilled like we have been pushing through like i said some since september um so it's just kind of like when are we going to get to closing when are we going to get there because you can't do anything until you close so that's our update. Um, I'm hopeful. I'm thinking because in four months, December, January, February, March, I kind of told myself April. Um, so I hope it's sooner. Um, but you know, like it's kind of out of our control at this point. Um, so we will be getting updates along the way of when things are ready. Um, the, the next step is to bush hog the property so that, you know, that they can get their people out there and assess it and because they also determine the best location for a house too obviously like we have some say in it but it just kind of depends on the height and elevations and stuff as well but our property is pretty flat so I, I don't think it will have too much of an issue anyway so that is our update I have been dying to say something um we had decided not to say anything until everything was official because the thing that happened in June I had actually had a video for it and everything. And I knew like before, I, I, it actually was like the day before I was gonna set that video. And I was like, I'm not gonna set it just in case. Cause that's just gonna be so much harder to share some news and then have to say, actually it didn't work out. Um, so that's why we decided to keep it to ourself um, until things were 100% because it's just, it's been, as I had shared in my Q&A video, it's been a very emotional thing that we have gone through for our family, and especially for our kids. I mean, for me and Nathan as well, but when you're like, our, anyways, it's just been hard. So I wanted to also kind of help protect them from just the back and forth. Um, anyways, of saying something and then having to say, no, actually it didn't work out. I know that you mom was understanding. Anyways, I'm gonna end this video here. I'm getting very, very rambly. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us, for your prayers and support, especially during this time. Hope that you all are doing well, and we will see y'all in the next video.